welcome back again. I've got a little demo for you today on how I'm, I profile my reeds. And if you remember from the last video, I, I tend to use straight shapers. And so my cane has already been gouged and shaped. And what I'm going to run it through today is the profiler, which is the process. And the profiler is the machine. Profiling is the process by which this bark gets removed from what will eventually be the blade of the reed. And so I have my machine set to get me pretty close to those final measurements since I know how thick that I want that reed to be. If you're working with a profiler that looks like this, there are some little indicators on the side here that you can use to, to control how much cane is taken off away from the bark area. So I have this dialed in so that it's pretty close to my final measurements and I, I minimize my scraping process down the line. But if you're using a shared machine, then that's something that you'll leave alone and just measure, whether it's with a, a dial indicator or something that's a little more casual and visual once those uh, pieces of cane come out of the profiler, just so you know kind of what you're dealing with in terms of going into scraping. But for the profiling process, if you are working with cane that has not been shaped yet, if you're going to use a folding shaper after this, then you would have a piece of cane that looks like this. And most profiler barrels, the, this part is called the barrel, have a rectangle that's already etched into the barrel. So you just line that up all four corners and you know that you're centered. If you are working with a piece of cane that has been shaped, then it takes a little bit more care to make sure that you're centered in the middle here. This barrel has some notches here that help hold it in place. So I'm gonna, I know that I can just center this right up, make sure it's lined up on the bottom and I use these little clamps to hold it in place. At this point, I tighten it down pretty firmly because I don't want the blade to be shifting the tube anywhere around the barrel as I'm doing this process. And the cane will not come off the barrel until I'm done profiling, so I know this is ready to go. I tighten this down and drop the barrel into its little notches here. At this point, I always swing it just a little bit just to make sure that everything is, is locked fully in, because sometimes there's a little bit of a locking mechanism down here to hold the barrel in place that your barrel can get stuck on, and it's kind of up at an angle, and then you end up carving a hole in your reed. So here's the blade for the profiler. Pull all the way back to this back bumper, which is set up where I want that shoulder or collar to be. And at this point, pushing forward is what will take cane off the reed, and so I push forward with about the weight of my hand. I'm not using really any force yet, and I'm just going side by side, nice neat little rows up the blade. I'll do once over and once back, just to get a little bit going. And at this point, just like with the gouging, I can start to get an idea of how this cane is going to behave by how it's coming off of the profiler. So it's coming off in pretty stiff little stiff little uh, edges here which means it's a little bit denser and again just like with shaping you're going to resist the temptation to grab this and pull because the cane will be thinner toward the center toward the what will be the tip of the reed and if I pull and peel that back then I end up peeling cane farther back into the the back third of the reed and into the tube that ultimately I want it to go so you see I've just taken the cane out of the barrel flipped it over and I repeat the process. Just like with gouging, this is the opposite of gouging, right? The top instead of the bottom. This machine is set to stop when it hits its measurements. So I just keep doing this back and forth until the machine no longer takes off cane. Speed up a little so you can see that. Clean out my blade. And the cane is nice and wet at this point. I soak the cane before I profile for about four hours. So I can make sure that it's not gonna dull my blade and that the cane will come off really nicely. All I'm doing with that is peeling the extra off. So not anything is still attached to the piece of cane. Again, just like with gouging, you can hear a change in the pitch and feel a change in the tension you know that you're at just about out of cane. The process kind of gives. Pull just the extra off. This is one of the prettiest parts of the cane process, I think. Start to get real
really close to the tip there. If I just run my finger back and forth, it'll work up those, those center lines. That last couple cuts here. That last little bit comes off. And now I can take my clamps off, take the can off the barrel, and I have a piece of can that is gouged and shaped and profiled and ready to be folded and made into a blanket.